Good morning. I have two stories from Canada. I like Canada. I actually considered moving there at one point because I like it. And I think that the people, they are nice. It's a big country, beautiful country. And the climate is sort of similar to the Swedish climate. Right. Now, if I was living in Canada, I would support the People's Party. By the way, with this guy Max, because they are against these lockdowns and uh, anything forced with the T, they are against it. That's why I would support them, mainly. I also think they are good, good people. Right. So, this is the, the first story. It's about a teacher. It's about a guy. He wants to be a lady. So, he started his transition a year ago. And now he calls himself Kayla. That's a nice name, isn't it? So, this guy, Kayla, is working as a teacher, a manufacturing technology teacher. So, he's teaching students to build stuff. Right? And he's working at a high school in Ontario. Maybe you heard this story already. So he began his transition a year ago, and I, I don't know if he's finished now, but maybe he is, because he's got these huge tits now. I'm not exaggerating. They are this big. Prosthetics. And he's wearing these tight jumpers. And the students, they started to take pictures of him. And there's a video. And I will post a link to the video. He's cutting a board and he has to watch out for the tits. Right? Now, and there was a statement from the school because people got upset with this. They thought it was disgusting or something. And the school board, they said this. It's Oakville Trafalgar High School. They say, we recognize the rights of students, staff, parents, guardians, and community members to fair treatment without discrimination based upon gender identity and gender expression. So I get it. It's gen this is a gender expression, isn't it? This guy says, you know, I'm a lady now. Just look at my tits. There's no doubts now. I am a lady. It's a gender expression. Now, if I was working maybe as the principal of this school, I would say, oh, no, I can't have you in the classroom with these tits. You look like a cow. It's stupid. Did you look at yourself in the mirror lately? It looks ridiculous. With his nipples sticking out and everything. That's what I would say. But you can't say this, can you? No, this guy would be offended. And you would get all this army of lefties fighting you. You can't say it. But that's what I would say. Somebody needs to tell this guy. I mean, you look like a cow. Right. Nobody is saying it. Maybe the parents are saying this. And I was thinking about this uh, gender expression thing. I have a question for you, uh, Oakville Trafalgar High School. This is my question to you. What if you hired me as a substitute teacher? And I came along with this 18-foot thing, maybe wrapped in cellophane, you know, a penis. And I was dragging it along in the corridors. What would you say? This is a gender expression, isn't it? You know, I'm a man. Look at my penis. It's 18 foot. That's a gender expression. You can't say anything about it. You will offend me. The, the last story is about uh, an older lady, or maybe she's 65, 70 years old. And she went to, to this place to, take, to drink some tea. It was the second cup. 
and she was in contact with her daughter. Uh, her name is Carol Pierce. And she was in contact with the daughter and they were texting, you see. And she was waiting for the tea, sitting there, and she texted the daughter and she said, you know, just 15 minutes now, I'm waiting for it, LOL. She was texting her daughter. And then after she had the tea, she texted the daughter, oh, I just had it. And then the daughter heard nothing. And what happened was, she died. The lady died. According to the doctor, she was dead before she hit the floor. Very sudden, I would say. That's right. So, taking the tea, drinking the tea, I think maybe it was a mistake. Oh, back in the old days, people did mistakes, of course. They left the door open to the chicken, to the chicken. And the fox got in and killed them all. That's a mistake. Or you left your stove on. That's a mistake, right? Today, the biggest mistake you can make is, tr is trusting the authorities. I think so. It's a huge mistake. Trusting the authorities. Wow. All right. Be good.